Hello again everybody, this is Craig Evans of Autism Hangout and thank you for tuning into this Autism Hangout Beyond the Headlines report. Statistics now state that 80% of people with autism are 18 years of age or younger. Most are still in the educational system, but for those that are out of school and entering the workforce, the outlook is not optimistic. Estimates are that 85% of those on the spectrum that can work actually have found jobs. Now that's the bad news. But the good news is, there are companies emerging whose intent is to hire those with special skills. And today's guest is from one of those businesses. The nonprofit company is called Aspiritech, and it's based in Chicago. And its mission is to solve the employment challenge of individuals with Asperger's syndrome and high functioning autism by aligning their unique abilities with the needs of the business community. That is just beautiful. So Autism Hangout, please welcome the founder of Aspiritech, Brenda Weitzberg. Welcome, Brenda. It's nice to have you here. Thank you so much for having me. Well, you know, I want to finish that mission statement because there was more in there that was equally as powerful. And that is, to this end, we harness those unique abilities. And then you name them. Attention to detail, precision, and affinity for repetitive tasks outstanding technological skills, and to provide competitively priced software testing services to businesses. We achieve this by providing our testers, those on the spectrum, with a combination of intense training, structure, and support to mitigate potential work challenges. Oh my gosh, you're, you're finding people, you're capitalizing on their strengths, and you're putting them to work. And, and I guess I've got to ask the first question here is, how did you get into Aspiritech? Where did this inspiration come from? Well, the inspiration started with my own son, our son, because my husband is actually director of operations for Aspiritech. Uh, at, at that time, he was a 28-year-old with Asperger's syndrome, who, despite a college education and high intelligence, um, was um, had jobs such as bagging in a supermarket or pushing a car, right. which were a terrible fit with his strength. So I started looking at a business we could start for him. Since then, the idea has expanded to finding work for about 10 folks who are in our offices who uh, have been trained, six of whom are on our payroll, four more in training. And now I'm not even happy with that. It's time to, res to solve the problem across the country. There's a need for an Aspiritech in every single city. Mm -hmm. We hear hundreds of people daily and weekly who are desperate, people who are very um, capable, intelligent, and live lives of isolated desperation. Mm -hmm. And um, we have seen this model work. Our training program works. Um, our testers are phenomenal at software testing. Uh, and we've done a lot with no, without seed funding. It, it's quite difficult. Well, for those of us with our special kids on the spectrum and their special talents, the talents that you are now picking up on and putting into work, we know that they are looking for jobs, and we know that they're very competent and capable. How are you finding the business community responding to your business concept? I think that is the big challenge thus far. It's trying to convince uh, software development companies, as well as any companies, um, to try us out because the ones who have are thrilled. Our testers were able to do the work faster. They saved money. Mm -hmm. They got found more bugs. They, they actually compared our testers in one of our jobs to their own on-site testers, mm -hmm. and our testers were, you know, superb. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really getting the word out there, convincing more companies that we stand behind our services, our guys can do a better job. By the way, Harvard Business School did um, a study, a case study of the Danish company that is our loose inspiration specialist, mm -hmm. and they found that their testers are 50% more capable at software testing than more mm -hmm. difficult. And you know, our son is kind of in the middle of the, you know, he's not the most high functioning, the most, not the most low, low functioning among our testers. And we weren't sure, to be honest, that he would be able to do this work. And he's been awesome. He's already writing test scripts, test cases, which is probably a more difficult task, as are several of our other testers. 
This is so encouraging. I, I just love this kind of news. This is one of my favorite kind of reports. People making things work with our special kids, capitalizing on their skills. I want to get back to your business plan for a moment. Are you, it's two part, this is a two part question. Are you only looking for business in the Chicago area right now? Or second part, are you looking at expanding with your business model to other cities? Uh, the first part of your question, absolutely not. Our, we've already had, um, because everything's on the web and on the air, everything's yes. done um, remotely from our office. Uh, we don't have to be in our clients' uh, company sites to do the work. We've worked for a company in England. We're starting to work with one in Canada soon and certainly down in Chicago. So absolutely not, it's not limited to a geographical area. Mm -hmm. um, we, on July 23rd and 24th, we actually hosted 12 people from around the country who came to learn about our model in the hopes that we could expand to other areas. So hopefully one day, there will be seed funding to replicate our model in other areas in each and every city so that everyone on the spectrum will have a chance to demonstrate their unique skills and abilities and not you know, have to be bagging groceries, or yes. uh, which isn't a bad job. It's just not great for someone like our son who has uh, not the best motor planning skills. Well, we want them to work to their potential. We, we want them to feel good about themselves, and we know how gifted they actually are. We want to tell the rest of the world how gifted they are and then prove it. Okay, so at this point in time, Espiritech is looking for funding to help expand. It, would that be your current business plan? Our current business plan is to find seed funding to strengthen our current operations, expand our training program. We have probably 35 resumes on file. Mm -hmm. um, one part. The second part is to get more businesses to give us contractual work because we can support ourselves just through contractual work. However, unlike Denmark, um, mm -hmm. the government is not funding the training part. Mm -hmm. um, we, my husband developed a one-month excellent training, hands-on program that works. Uh, but then there's ongoing training for each new project. Mm -hmm. um, so that, for that, we need public support. Mm -hmm. You know, that might be worth mentioning at this point in time. Could you talk a little, your, your husband, Moshe, is the chief operating officer, is that correct? Okay, and could you talk a little bit about his background? Because he's got a pretty formidable powerhouse of some experience here that he's bringing to the table. We're the yin and yang of the social services. He's the analytical, he's a PhD chemist by training who took advanced uh, training and software testing. And he was able, unlike, uh, we've heard from programs in Japan and Israel where they just provide... Um, uh, a training and then place people. He actually, and it's kind of dry uh, classroom training. They said so themselves. Moshe uses actual test scripts, actual test cases, and trains them using iPhones and laptops. And it's much more exciting. It's real. They have a sense of whether this is the kind of work they want to pursue. Right now in the office, we actually have a student who finished our local high school, and this has been a summer internship paid through the county. He's going off to college in a few weeks, and hopefully he'll come back to work for us over winter and spring break. Yeah, that's outstanding. Okay, now I, I know that in addition to the Autism Hangout audience that's watching, we're going to have some business people in the audience as well. How are you pitching your services to these businesses? What, what would you tell them to get interested in, in Aspiratech and what it offers? We could save companies money by providing quality assurance solutions in a timely, affordable, they can, um, we're a domestic, um, you can give, you know, a domestic software testing company. They don't have to go to India or China. We've got guys and gals here who can do it better, mm -hmm. faster, and just try us out. They need to talk to Moshe Weitzberg, the Director of Operations. They can find us on www.askspiritech.org. Excellent. And, and he will come up with a pricing structure. They are awesome testers. <laughs> you're, preaching to the, you're preaching to the choir talking to me, but I, I love how many people in the audience are going to be hearing your testimonial for just how good this workforce actually is. Okay, let's give the website one more time. So how do people find you? 
They can find us at www.aspiritech, A-S-P-I-R-I-T-E-C-H dot org. Okay, very good. Um, can I say one more thing? Yes, please. Even though we started this company to provide work for people on the spectrum, we are seeing amazing unexpected outcomes, like decreased depression, increased um, self, sense of self-worth, um, in, in teamwork among our testers. It's, it's just amazing. Uh, in, within a very short time. Um, it's been a wonderful, wonderful experience for us. We feel like we've expanded our family from one son with Asperger's to um, a whole community and beyond. Our children deserve, our children, our children when they become adults and go into the workforce deserve the same sense of satisfaction we feel when they do a job and the job is well done. And speaking of job well done, I want to commend you for taking the time in your own life and your own expense to start this initiative that's going to help our kids become the best they can be and to thrive with autism. So Brenda, I want to thank you for coming on Autism Hangout today. I wish you great success in the future and hope that if you've got news that you come back and tell us about it again. Thank you. Can you put phone number? Yes. 312-945-TEST-8378. Please good. call. Moshe Weitzberg will answer your call. Very good. Brenda, thanks for coming on today. Thank you. And thank you, Autism Hangout. I'll be back again soon with another Beyond the Headlines.